Hey guys, welcome back to a new video where I will be giving feedback on this render. This image has been sent to me by Prashik. As can be seen, he wanted to create a vehicle design for the Citroen brand. I am sure you know that Citroen is a French brand. It is part of the Stellantis group which is one of the largest automakers in the world. The Stellantis group owns many brands such as Peugeot, Citroen, Alfa Romeo, Fiat, Maserati, Dodge, Jeep and a few more. Citroen also recently entered the Indian market with the launch of their C5 Aircross SUV. They will also launch a mini SUV in the Indian market very soon. By the way, if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell icon so that you never miss any updates. Also, if you would like me to provide feedback for your render or sketches, send the images to contactsrkdesigns at gmail.com. Now coming back to the sketch. I see that the design is nice and simple. Perspective wise too, I think it is good enough. A minor issue I have is with the wheel placement, so I try to correct it. Now I create a very rough outline of the overall form and some character lines to get an idea about the surfaces. Using the image as an underlay, I start putting down the first lines. I am trying to create the sketch as close as possible to the original image. One thing that I have observed is that Citroen cars, especially the new ones, have their logos integrated into the grille design. And I did something similar here. Also another unique thing about Citroen cars is their side body cladding. I have tried to add it here as you will see further in the video. I have also added some side mirrors which were missing in the original sketch. Small elements like this add a bit of realism to your sketches. I now create and place some wheels and keep adding more details. I made some changes to the stance and proportions of the vehicle. Citroen cars usually have a very rounded and smooth appearance, which I felt was missing in this sketch. So I redesigned the front section by adding more curved surfaces. As can be seen this changed the overall feel and look of the car yet following the theme of the original image. Once I was happy with the sketch, the next step was to create a quick render. In the original image the scene is a bit complex. As a beginner I would suggest you to stick to simple scenes like the one I will be creating now. As a first step I block out the main elements like the body, wheels and shadows. I then start blocking the darkest parts such as the windows, grille and side cladding. I then start putting in the details by adding highlights and shadows, giving the 3D form to different parts of the vehicle. Using the same method of creating highlights and shadows, I start working on the wheels. I now add rims with the similar design as shown in the original render. Now I start working on the windows and also define the position of the pillars. I add shut lines to the sketch. These lines while suggesting the panel gaps also help in providing information about the surface forms. 
Now I add some elements on the side cladding and make a few more tweaks. Finally, I add some more highlights and here you have the final result. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. If you did then hit the like button and don't forget to share the video with your friends. I will see you in a new video soon. Till then, keep creating and stay safe. Let's enjoy the time lapse now.